What's up guys? My name's Jonathan. This is my Canon and thank you for tuning in to another episode of The Canoneer. Now today we've got a fun video that's sponsored by PCB Way. Now you guys have seen me partner with PCB Way before when they were kind enough to send us some PLA 3D printed body armor plates. If you guys didn't catch that video, I'll link it somewhere up here if you're interested in checking that out. But today we've got some ABS body armor plates that we're going to be testing out. But before we head on over to the range and I'll give you guys a close look at what those plates look like, thank you to PCB Way for sponsoring this video. If you guys are in the market to maybe bring your prototypes from design all the way to reality, you can check out PCB Way's vast overwhelming array of services that they offer to help you do that. They have 3D printing, they have circuit board design, they have CNC milling, all kinds of cool services available to help you bring your designs all the way from just to design in your head all the way to prototype. They can help you get one or 100,000, anything that you need, they can help you any step along the way. Be sure to check out PCB Way in the description below as well as the pinned comment and tell them thank you for helping us sponsor this video. Well anyway guys, I'll meet you over at the range in just a second and give you guys a close up look at those ABS plates and we'll start testing them out. Okay guys, so we've got another sponsored video today from PCB Way. So PCB Way has been kind enough to send us a couple of PLA printed body armor plates that we shot a couple of weeks ago. And they were also kind enough to send us this, which is an ABS body armor plate. Now our PLA body armor plates were not able to seem to seem, didn't seem to really want to stop too much out of our cannon. They just seemed to shatter on their layer lines. But this ABS here is printed at 25% infill. So hopefully this will be able to take something and kind of crumple instead of just shatter along the layer lines like that 100% infill PLA. So my intent today is to see if we can maybe stop a bouncy ball or something small and light, and then we'll work our way up through maybe some different infills and different types of materials um, in the future if you guys kind of like this idea. So we'll load this, something up in our can here. We're going to start out with a bouncy ball, and we're going to see if this ABS plate will stop a bouncy ball. So let's touch it off and see what happens. Okay guys, let's go check it out. I saw we hit it and it looks like it just put a nice beautiful hole straight through the center there. So, yep, beautiful little hole there, right through the center. Looks like it didn't even slow it down. You can see the infill down there. Cracked the back, it looks like that ABS didn't even slow down that bouncy ball. Now I did see the bouncy ball come over here. So, here's the ball, let's see what the ball looks like. The ball has gotten a good bit of damage. So. There you go, we're gonna up the ante just a little bit to a wooden cannonball and see what that will do against our ABS plate. Okay guys, well that bouncy ball put quite a hurt on that nice beautiful round hole. Let's see what a wooden cannonball will do. Oh yeah, that one hit it square on. I'm pretty sure it just put a nice little hole in it. Yup, I can see the beautiful little hole. I think I saw the wooden ball bounce off of it too. Yup, there's the wooden ball right here. Basically totally intact. Seems to have suffered very little, if any, damage at all. And here's our ABS plate. There's the hole from the wood right there. One side and the other side. So, not so good on that one. So we're gonna up our INT just a little bit and see what these will do against a 3D printed tank round. Okay guys, we got a 3D printed tank round loaded up. Kinda think this is just gonna go right through the ABS, but we shall find out. Okay guys, take two on our tank ground. This is the last one that I've got. PCBUA was kind enough to send us two ABS plates. So if this tank ground doesn't hit, we're just gonna stack both of those two ABS plates together and see what a lead cannonball will do against them. So let's touch this off and see what happens with that tank ground.
A quick shout out to Varden's Body Shop for helping us out with our targets, and to Uncle Tommy for letting us use his range. Okay, y'all, I think that did the job. So, oh yeah, it did. I can see where it hit. I also saw something go skipping off in the background out there, but here we go. So here's part of our tank round. I can see that. Another part of it right there. And that's where it hit our plate. So, giant hole in the plate that seems to do very little to stop anything that we've shot at it with the cannon. So we're going to stack two of our ABS plates up. We're going to stack one and we got a brand new one and see what a lead cannonball will do against these. Okay guys, we've got a 10 ounce lead cannonball loaded up. We've got our brand new ABS plate stacked in front of our old ABS plate. And we've also got a surprise for you guys if these things don't stop our lead cannonball. And I kind of don't think they will. So let's touch this off and see what happens. Okay guys, uh, I don't think that ABS did too terribly much to stop our cannonball here. It didn't shatter like PLA along the layer lines, so that's kind of interesting. So, that's what one of the plates looks like afterwards. There's the beautiful little entrance hole and exit hole from the other one. And there's our can of yams. So I'm excited to check that out on the slow-mo and see what that looked like. So there you go. Thanks again to PCB Way for sponsoring us and helping us out with these plates today. We will eventually hopefully find a type of plastic that can stop something out of our cannon here. Well guys, it doesn't look like ABS is gonna be very helpful in stopping our cannon here either. Now hopefully one day we'll be able to find a 3D printed material that maybe will stop a bouncy ball or maybe something a little more powerful with our cannon, but ABS is not gonna be the way to do it with. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to hit that like button. It's really going to help to get this video out into the world of YouTube. And while you're down there, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'm sure you guys are going to want to keep up with all the fun stuff that we're going to be shooting with the Canon here and out of the Canon coming out in the future. And thank you again to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. And once again, guys, my name's Jonathan. This is my Canon, and I'll catch you guys on the next episode of The Canoneer. <laughs>